Welcome. We are so glad you can join us today. But first, safety. As, as we have online meeting, we hope you are aware about the safety routines where you are located right now. Safety and sustainability are important in our development of new products. It is an outright demand in our project model. And here, I'm standing in front of Megalisburg in South Africa. And I promise you, you will soon understand what that has to do with our new product launch. We are incredibly proud and happy to reveal our latest innovation in top hammer drilling for mining and tunneling. Proud because of the hard work that has been put into this and the people who have made it possible. Happy because we know what a huge difference it will make to you, our customers. It has been a long journey, but today we can present a tool that I know will challenge all other players in the industry. By the end of this launch event, we are ready to answer any questions from you that you have about the new product. And we will answer it by the end of the program or if we have many questions through a direct message. But now, Robert Grandin, our product manager for Top Hammer Tools at Sandvik, he is eager to tell you more about this new product. So over to you, Robert. Thank you, Peter. The product we are introducing today is the successor to our current flagship product in the mine development and tunneling industries, the Sandvik Alpha 330. You might wonder why we even need to further develop something that works so well. The reason is simple. Sandvik Rock Tools are the innovators of the industry, and we should always be number one when it comes to productivity and sustainability. As such, we must continue to develop all products, even the very successful ones. Some of you might even remember that Alpha 330 was also upgraded some 10 years ago. It has been very challenging to improve upon something which is so high performing, such as the Sandvik Alpha 330. But after several years of development by the brightest brains of the industry, we are finally here. Let me introduce the Sandvik Alpha Asymmetric Drilling Tools. The force of asymmetry is in our DNA. It might be nature's greatest innovation. Because when it comes down to survival, it's not just about being the strongest. It's also about being smart and able to adapt to circumstances. Inspired by evolution, we're creating a revolution. Sandvik Alpha Asymmetric Drilling Tools a revolution for mine development and tunneling. Now you might get an idea of why I'm standing in front of a mountain range with this shape. In geology, cuesta means a rock formation with a gentle slope on one side and a steep slope on the other side, just like the Sandvik Alpha Fred. Nature and evolution has proven time and again the power of asymmetry. As Robert said, the old Alpha 330 is a favorite amongst many of our customers, and we fully understand why. But we also know that we can innovate and create something even better through research and development. To help us to create that bridge between the history and the future, we have with us today Anders Brooks, Vice President for Top Hammer Tools at Sandvik. 20 years ago, Anders was leading the team which developed the Sandvik Alpha concept. Here is Anders. Thanks for the introduction, Petter. The Sandvik Alpha 330 was developed as an improvement over the industry standard R32 thread. The R32 thread was along with the other rope threads developed in the late 1950s by Sandvik Rock Tools. 
Considering it is still widely used in the industry today, I must say they did an awesome job back then, more than 60 years ago. However, the R32 thread was developed for pneumatic rock drills. With the introduction of hydraulic rock drills and especially with the increased power levels in the 90s, we saw escalating early breakages in the thread then, creating an opportunity, or I would say, a need for optimization of the bit thread. Already in the trial phase of the new concept, we saw a huge performance step compared with our 32 standard, beyond what we were even hoping for. The service life on the roads was up by 30 to 80 percent. And as well, drillers really liked the coloring accuracy, the precision in the coloring. Over the years since the launch, 20 years ago, these benefits have been proving time and time again. The great hole accuracy is something that over time have proven to be the main benefit with Sandvik Alpha, giving customer improved rate of advance and reduced overbreak. These values dramatically reduce the total drilling cost. The number of active users today speak for itself. We have well over 100 mining and tunneling sites globally, drilling with our Sandvik Alpha tool as we speak. Thank you, Anders, and thank you for the, the story. Working in the mining industry has challenges, but there is room to create innovations and solutions. At Sandvik Rock Tools, our goal is to have the most dedicated experts working with research and development every day. John Hammergren, our senior development engineer, will now talk to you about the science behind the new Sandvik Alpha asymmetric drilling tools. So, over to you, John. Thank you, Peter. The main purpose when develop new thread concept for any application is to reduce stress levels and make the product stronger where it's need to be stronger. Lower stress levels are equal to longer fatigue life. The force on our products comes from the rock and the drill rig, so that Sandvik rock tools cannot change. But we can impact how this force is distributed to our products. The basic physics tell us that the stresses, the pressure that impact our products goes down when we apply the force on a greater area. This simple fact guides us when we develop and design rock tools. Alpha Asymmetric has three new design features. First, we have a new asymmetric thread profile with different flank angles. This new thread profile enables us to have a larger radius on the contact flank where most of the fatigue failure starts due to friction and heat. Then we also have increased the pitch length compared to a standard rope thread. With increased pitch length, we will have a greater area to distribute the forces on, and therefore the stress levels will go down. With longer pitch, the thread will also be easier to open up. So the driller will love this new product due to less time is needed for rattling when changing drill bit. And reduced rattling time also mean that less amount of tensile stresses will be reflected back and harm the rock tools and the hammer. The third new design feature is that we have optimized the thread clearance inside the drill bit to make the drill bit stronger. With these three new design features, it is possible to have a larger male thread without increasing risk for the fat fatigue failure inside the drill bit. Larger diameter is equal to a stronger product. Before we landed in the concept of being launched today, 
we ran a research project on threat development for several years. And one day, I had a talk with a president for Rock Tools, Jens Holberg, in the office here in Sandvik in Sweden. He challenged me and asked me if we had any new solution how we further can improve the Sandvik Alpha concept. This challenge gave me a sleepless night where we were thinking and dreaming about threads and the relationship between profiles, pitch and stress levels. The morning after, when I wake up, after a cup of coffee, I started to design these ideas into a 3D model so we can run FAM simulation in the computer on the concept. Over the next week, we optimized the concept further in a few number of iterations before we were ready to start field trials. The results from the field have been instantly successful and the prototype we tested back then is the same as we are launching today, without any design changes. This tells us how far we have come in the development process with computer simulation. Andesh was the development process similar for Alpha 330 back in the day? John, not exactly. Uh, we did have finite element simulations also then, but they were on a very rudimentary level and could not really guide us in the design work. It was more of trial and error in the field. We had an idea that we could perhaps increase the life of the bit thread with a longer bit, a bit that have a guide behind the thread to protect the thread from flushing, erosion, and as well give increased rigidity. Just to test this hypothesis, we didn't do any drawings, any manufacturing of a longer bit with a guide. We just took a finished standard drill bit from the stock, made the guide at the end, we cut off half the bit thread. Then to fit the bit to the rod, we cut the rod thread in half as well. Then those simple prototypes was tested in a Swedish mine. We were quite surprised to see that the results of these mutilated products were so good. So we skipped the idea of a longer bit and stuck to the concept of short thread with a guide. We fine-tuned the development further by increasing the thread diameter and the relation between the thread and the guide length. I would say we were lucky back then that relatively simple design feature could give such a big customer value. It would have been completely impossible with the simple calculation methods we had access to back then, in combination with trial and error, to design such an advanced and optimized thread profile like Sandvik Alpha 340. Thank you, John and Anders. Uh, it is pretty impressive to learn that it is not just the products that have evolved. The digital tools has also revolutionized the development process. It will be very interesting to see the result of what John and his colleagues are sleepless about tonight. I know there are a lot of new exciting top hammer technologies in the pipeline already for next year, so stay tuned. All right, now let's hand over to Robert again, who will go through the full Sunvik Alpha product range, including the, the field results. Thank you, Peter. We'll start with an overview of the design features of the new thread concept. Even though Alpha 330 is being replaced, also in the new concept, we keep the two major features from the old thread. We still have a short and robust thread. This was the most important innovation in the old Alpha 330. And like Anders already have explained, a shorter thread reduces the leverage on our last thread. And since this is typically where the rods break, reducing the bending stresses in this area 
increase the service life of the product. And since we do have a short thread, there is also room for a strong guide behind the thread. This gives the connection rigidity and is what makes the alpha tools drill so accurate holes. A rigid connection resists bending both during collaring and inside the hole. This is why customers report increased rate of advanced by 1 to 2 percentages when going to alpha from industry standard tools. So what is new with Alpha 340? Starting with the most important one, we have a new asymmetric thread profile, which John told you about. It reduces the stress levels on the thread flank where we get breakages, the tightening thread flank. We also have increased the diameter of the guide section behind the thread, further increasing their rigidity and fatigue strength in that particular area. And as John has described so well, because of a much stronger bit skirt, we can increase the diameter of the rod thread without also increasing the bit diameter. And a larger rod thread is directly translated to higher fatigue strength and longer service life. A larger male thread is not only positive for service life, but it also enables us to increase the size of the flushing hole in the hexagonal rods from 9.5 mm to 11 mm. This is a 34% bigger cross-sectional area. And for a rock tools nerd such as myself, this is a big deal. The hex 35 bar have looked the same for decades, but it now gets a facelift. And what advantage this gives in the drilling depends a lot on the drop conditions. In some conditions, more flushing means a higher drilling speed, and in other, it will mean a reduced risk of jamming. Or it can also be possible to reduce the flushing pressure, which is positive for the water pump on the drill rig. As John told you, we had very promising results from the computer simulations as well as a small functional trial in our own test mine in Finland. This is of course not nearly enough data to upgrade a widely used product like the Alpha 330. The product must be proven on the field before that. And considering the magnitude for Alpha 330 currently, we decided to embark on what might be the largest field test program ever done for a Rock Tools product development. We tested more than 8,000 bits and more than 1,000 rods on 17 different customer sites in nine countries across the globe. And it was very important for us that the new product was used the same way as the old Alpha 330. So all the trials were run on large scale without any close monitoring. Everybody in the industry knows service lives are dramatically inflated as soon as you have an application specialist standing right next to the driller. And it was important for us to prove value without this effect. Then we could compare the historic average service lives with the new ones for Sandvik Alpha 340. And here is an overview of all the results we have had from our field tests. On the vertical axis, we have normalized all the results with the Sandvik Alpha 330 as the reference with an index of 100. So if the bar shows 120, it means that the Alpha 340 had an average service life of 20% higher than the Alpha 330. It does not say anything about the service life in absolute terms. So behind these numbers, we have averages ranging from below 1000 meters to above 6000 meters in drifter rod service life. As you can see, the Alpha 340 have a higher service life than Alpha 330 in all trials, with one big exception in Canada. The problem in this trial was that more than half of the rods were bent, which is not related to the thread itself, but by the operational conditions. This is what can happen when you're trialing rock tools, but for full disclosure, we have included the figures in this graph, and they are also part of the weighted average across all trials. Because we have seen bent and jammed prototypes in almost all conducted trials, which is part of the methodology when going large scale without closer monitoring. 
The average improvement over the already great Alpha 330 in this trial series is 18%. This is a weighted average where the largest trials have received the biggest impact. The alert viewer might notice that we do not have values from 17 sites, although I did mention that previously. This is because sometimes it is difficult to gather correct drill meter data, but such trials serve a purpose anyway, since we do get good information about the functionality and usability of the product. So about the usability features. We have asked our customers that have actually used the product what they think. And this is what they had to say. First day after trial, operators are asking for Sandvik Alpha 340. Best month I have ever seen in the mine. 5 to 10 seconds shorter rattling time. Our operators were positively surprised how well the threats worked. Half the time to uncouple compared with Sandvig Alpha 330. When launching new thread systems, we always take the opportunity to apply improvements also to the bit assortment. Launching the Alpha asymmetric drilling tools is no different in this regard. Some bits will see a larger angle on the gauge buttons, which we know is positive for the button wear and it counters the risk of anti-taper. Other bits get a larger buttons in the gauge row, which increases the wear resistance. And in general, we will have many more bits with our power carbide grades in the assortment. This will be standard on all heavy duty bits, which will surely make them last longer. The bit improvement, which will be noticed by most customers, is the one on the 102 mm reaming bit, a widely used product. On this item, we have reinforced the pilot with larger buttons, Plus, we have made power carbide as the new standard. Reports from our early adopting customers tell us that the consumption of reaming bits is down substantially. To let you know more about power carbide grades, our cemented carbide expert Malin Mortensen is with us. Thank you, Robert, and welcome to Rock Tools R&D's facilities in Vesperia, Stockholm, the heart of Sandvik cemented carbide research. Within Sandvik, we own and control the whole cemented carbide manufacturing chain, from tungsten aptons to insert and buttons. And now we also have a recycling program to complete the circle. And I'm very proud to say that we are world leading in cemented carbide research and manufacturing. The challenge in all material development is that when we increase the wear resistance, the material loses toughness, it becomes more brittle and it fails. This is where the power carbide technology come in. And we actually worked against the law of nature and actually managed not only to increase the wear resistance, but also to maintain, and in some cases, even increase the toughness. The power carbide grades available in the new Sandvik Alpha asymmetric drilling tools is our self-hardening power carbide SH70 and our gradient carbide GC81. SH70 is designed so that it's self-hardened to a much higher extent than standard carbide during drilling. The customer value of SH70 are longer bit lives and much less button failures. The gradient carbide GC81 is designed to further improve the wear resistance of the top of the button, but still has very tough interior. GC81 works exceptionally well in small bits, and in the context of drilling, you will notice significantly increased drill meters. As one of the power carbide inventors, I'm very happy that even more customers will have the opportunity to experience the power carbide performance now as we introduce the Sandvik Alpha Asymmetric Drilling Tools. Finally, I would like to encourage you all to contribute to Rock Tools Carbide Recycling Program. It's only together that we can make this happen. The focus of this launch event has been our new Sandvik Alpha 340 system, but we must not forget its big brother, Alpha 360, either. It was introduced 2018 with a normal trapezoid thread profile, 
But parallel to the development of Alpha 340, we have now also upgraded the Alpha 360 with the asymmetric thread platform, making it more robust and high performing. It has also seen an upgraded bit assortment, as well as the new hollow bar material with a bigger flushing hole on hexagonal rods. Which one you choose is a question of hole size. Alpha 340 is optimized towards 43 to 45 mm drilling and the 360 towards 48 to 51 mm hole size. If you are drilling large holes, Alpha 360 will give a totally superior rod service life due to the larger thread diameter. So it's the same awesome technology, but it's scaled for different hole diameters. A brilliant idea on paper, or even in a three-dimensional computer model, is not worth anything if we aren't able to manufacture it as R&D have intended. And when it comes to high-volume products for the mine development and tunneling industries, specifications must be met over and over again, around the clock, year-round, several thousand pieces made every week. So let's hear it from our production technician Isabel Ågren, what she has to say about the challenges with the new Sandvik Alpha asymmetric drilling tools. We are a big team that collaborates together to make this work. And my job is to make the production of the new Alpha thread. Starting from a drawing, we are testing and making prototypes. So we then can make the full production work. The new Alpha is something that the world has never seen before. With the asymmetrical design, it makes the production more challenging for us. It's been a long time testing and analyzing the production so we can make sure that we have the best quality in our new Alpha. And we have a big production that runs 365 days a year. We are 100% ready to supply all our customers with the new Alpha. So, as the customers from the field trials are telling us, the new Sandvik Alpha 340 is very simple to uncouple. And this is actually a more valuable product feature than you first might think. From the process point of view, Having difficulties opening the threads is certainly a source of frustration for the drillers, but it can also be a safety problem. Sometimes you might fail to open the thread, and then the operator makes the dangerous trip to the unsupported face needlessly. Or worse, the driller will use a mallet of some sort to get it open, which is even more risky. Safety is of course the by far largest concern, but all this time spent trying to uncouple a bit is also completely unproductive, a total waste. And uncoupling problems do not only impact the drilling process, it also negatively affects the full drill string, as well as the rock drills and booms. We know that there is no part of the drilling process which see higher stress levels in our rock tools than the uncoupling, because we are using almost full percussion, and that energy stays in the drill string. So every second of uncoupling counts when it comes to the fatigue life for the shank adapter or the coupling. And I would also say that uncoupling is the single bigger source of button breakages on the drill bit. So when converting to Sandvik Alpha 340, you can expect the better performance from all parts of the drill string and this will be especially noticeable in abrasive ground conditions where bits are changed more frequently. So, let's sum up what the Sandvik Alpha asymmetric drilling tools is all about. We have a new asymmetric thread profile which reduces the stress levels in critical areas. And the reduced stress levels we see on the bit body primarily have enabled us to increase the diameter of the male thread, boosting fatigue strength. And the rods are made from a new hollow bar material, increasing the flushing hole diameter. And what will you customers see in your operations? 
The service life on the rods is up by some 15 to 20 percent compared to Sandvik Alpha 330. And this will actually mean an improvement of some 50 percent more if we compare to the industry standard R32 tools. And this, of course, translates directly into lower drilling costs per meter and also less handling of long and heavy drifter rods. Drilling economy, safety and sustainability going hand in hand. The new thread is also very simple to uncouple, which for one is certainly appreciated by the drillers and two also reduce the stress levels in the whole drill string. So because of this, there will be longer service life also on shank adapters and couplings. Given how well received the new Sandvik Alpha 340 have been during the trial phase, it's very safe to say that it is the driller's choice. Many thanks, Robert. We have given you an overview of this revolution for mine development and tunneling. And if you have any questions um, or requests, just contact us via phone, email or face-to-face -face meeting. So don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you and stay safe.